Had a stick a runway, and now she's made history on another type of runway, landing her newest rank of Miss America. Madison March, now the first active duty military member to win the pageant's title in its nearly 100 year history, leaving this pilot selectee flying high. Your Miss America. The 22-year-old second lieutenant in the Air Force and recent graduate from its academy in Colorado has a degree in physics with a focus on astronomy and is not only training to be a military pilot, but she's also pursuing a master's degree at Harvard. All of this while taking on the title of Miss America. Joining me now, second lieutenant, Miss America 2024, Madison March. Oh my gosh, Madison, talk <laughs> about breaking stereotypes. Girlfriend, how did Aww. the Air Force uh, react? Did you get a Thunderbirds flyover yet? No, but I mean, they are so, so excited. So we've been kind of working on a potential plan for the past couple of months and I won't give away anything yet, but I will say we have tons of really exciting opportunities of crossovers with the Miss America opportunity and the Air Force. Wow. Okay. Well, stay tuned. We'll definitely want to hear more about that. You know, you started competing in pageants during your first year at the Air Force Academy. Tell me why you wanted to do that. Because when you think of military and pageants, I mean, those are polar opposites. Mm -hmm. So I started competing, like you said, my freshman year, and I felt like at the Academy, it is such a difficult year. I mean, that's a very, very formative year on how your leadership goes, learning how to be a freshman. And so I'd also lost my mom less than a year prior to that. And so I really struggled with my identity. So I looked to my cousin who had competed in pageants and I thought that might be something fun. But the more I really dug into it, the more I saw the crossover of what the military represents and pageants. So obviously at the Air Force Academy, they care a lot about higher education. So do pageants. They both care about service. So now I get to serve as second Lieutenant Marsh and serve our nation as Miss America. And they also care about the passion and leadership and community service. So it seemed a perfect opportunity to get to promote my nonprofit, the Whitney Marsh Foundation in honor of my mom. And so even though outwardly, they kind of seem very different, the more you dive into pageants and the military, the more overlap there actually is. So here's the best part, and I love this. I don't know if we can roll the HUD video once again. I see you strapping in there. Uh, are you in the back seat or are you flying there? I'm in the back seat, so I have a female fighter pilot up front. She's the only female fighter pilot in her entire squadron out at Nellis Air Force Base, and she's just, I, I can't speak highly enough of her. She's just fantastic. So she brought me on that ride about a month ago. So why did you choose the Air Force Academy, and why flying? So I went to space camp a long, long time ago. Uh, I believe I was going into the eighth grade and I wanted to be an astronaut really bad. And every time I spoke to these astronauts or looked into their background, I saw a lot of them had one thing in common and it was being a military pilot. So then I started to dive in, how can I become a military pilot and a test pilot? The best place to do that is the Air Force Academy. They have the most pilot slots. They have the best training to get people into it. They pay you go to go to school and you get amazing education all at the same time. So I made it my goal to go to the Air Force Academy and I knew I wanted to be a more competitive applicant going in. So my parents uh, were fortunate enough to allow me to start flying before I went to, into the Academy around the age of 15. And so I really fell in love with civilian flying and I had an amazing pilot instructor, JD Williams, and the rest is now history. Well, I'll tell you what, you're going to continue to make history. And uh, before we go, I do want to show some pictures and lift up your mom. I know you lost her to pancreatic cancer, and that is going to be something you're going to focus on uh, and raise awareness for. I have no doubt your mom is looking down on you, working through you. Uh, your spirit is as strong as hers. Congratulations, Madison. Uh, I know you're making her proud, and you'll continue to do so. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me today. It was our honor. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel.